Hey everyone, I'm not going to waste any time here and I'm going to jump right in to a brand new advanced auto campaign tip that I came up with that messes around with placement stats. So first off is I want to direct you guys to two other auto tips I have. You know, there's the 900% placement stats at top of search that is a really good video and then there's the up and down bidding auto campaign type that you know all autos default to now for the up and down bidding. So those are two, if you haven't seen those yet, um, you might wanna touch on those because this is even more of a weird advanced strategy that I came up with here. So not a lot of data. I just, again, I just set some new campaigns up for this, but I'm gonna walk through what the idea of this and then how to set these up. It's a little more advanced and kind of data mining for some new stuff on, on bestsellers. So we are now messing with placement stats on product pages. So this is an auto campaign. And what I've done here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you another, another step on this in a second. And these are designed to not show up at top of search, okay? Because what I wanna do is on these, I'm trying to find keywords and products that I normally wouldn't rank for. So, if I come in here to negative targeting, and I know it's gonna be it's gonna be blurred out, um, but actually I, I have it on the campaign level. So let me do this. Negative targeting. So I have a hundred and five negative phrase keywords. Okay, a hundred and five negative phrase keywords. So let that sink in and then let me show you what the whole point of these campaigns is. So I was just, uh, personally, I was just looking to buy some plant food for my house. So I figured let's, let's, let's go with plant food as an example. So let's say I am selling this, this plant food and I want to, I know all the keywords that I rank for, but I want to find new competitors and maybe new keywords that I can do for it, like frequently bought together. You know, that's kind of what this is gonna be is other products that I might do okay for. So all of this is, and where I got those negative phrase keywords, you guys know my, my favorite keyword density analyzer, I am gonna take all of the keywords on my front end and throw them in here. Now, if this is your listing, you can, you're also gonna do the keywords from the back end. You can do all the text that you have in your EBC, all of this stuff. Okay, so let's, let's say I take some EBC content as well. I'm gonna throw this in here and I'm gonna get my list of individual keywords. If you follow me, you know I love to get these lists, okay? So now I have a list of, it's not gonna be many. These are all of these single keywords that I would normally want to rank for and would be relevant in my auto campaigns. So right now I have 47 of them. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a new auto campaign. Budget is what it is. Now, for this one, I'm doing down only bidding because the idea of this is to negative phrase all of the keywords that you would normally be relevant for. So you're going after weirder keywords that normally aren't good for you. So you don't want to show up at the top of the page. So then I go in here and I go product pages. I started with 100% because I don't want to be too aggressive with these. Okay. So what this does is this forces me to not show up at top of search. You add your products in, you do your bidding. Now to find your bid for this one, I would look at your normal auto campaign and go below that. So say normally you're paying a dollar cost per click for your auto campaigns and you already have 100% placement stats. So this one, if I'm paying a dollar, I would start at like 35 cents, which is gonna max me out to 70 cents. But again, I wanna be very conservative with these. And this is the step here. I come in here, I add in my list of negative phrase keywords that are my best keywords. What this is gonna force, this is gonna force Amazon's hand to give you impressions for completely different keywords, okay? So taking a step back, this might not be a tip for new products because it's this is the complete opposite of what you should do. 
But this is a strategy for products like this that have thousands of reviews and that they're a little stuck and you need, to, you need new ideas to rank for. And because what it's gonna do here is it's not only gonna give you different keywords to rank for, but let me show you this. I set this up for two products, okay? This one, I'm gonna go to search terms here. So this one, last seven days, I've only gotten 19 clicks, but I can assure you that all of these clicks in here, I had never seen before for this product, okay? This one, three clicks, two orders. I, I never, ever, ever would have guessed that. On the other hand, but and this is, this is the best-selling product in this account. On the other hand, I've done the same strategy for another product, and these are all ASINs. So this is why this is twofold because one, if you remove, if you add all of your keywords as negative phrases, um, you're going to show up for a lot of ASINs, right, on autos, which is which is also a really cool idea. So you not only find new search terms to rank on for this, you find brand new competitor targets that might be. They might be some ones you haven't found before, but they might be more frequently bought together, not relevant products, okay? So I am calling these PP autos. Um, okay, so I am calling these PP autos, product page auto, because I am doing placement stats only on product pages. We don't want top of, we don't want top of search. We don't want relevant searches. This is a data mining strategy for new search terms and new competitors, okay? I hope this makes sense. Please, with this one, be conservative. Do lower bids than normal, lower budgets than normal. The idea of this is to really lock in on some low-hanging fruit keywords, find those, move them to manuals, and then crush them from there, okay? Um, guys, thanks again, and just stay tuned for more videos.